Hey guys, what's up? Ian here from Mid America Prep. Thanks for tuning in and watching. So today I'm out here once again with the Overland trailer, the camper trailer that I've built. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of work on it in preparation for the solar panel. Uh, the solar panel that I am going to be buying, it's, it's in my list on Amazon right now, is the Renegy 100 watt 30 amp solar, solar panel kit that comes with all the wiring and the solar controller, or the charge controller, sorry. Um, so what I'm going to be doing actually with that panel is mounting it right on top of my roof uh, you know of course I said everything is half inch plywood but it's gonna go right to the mount the top of the roof and I'm trying to decide if I keep it flat it's not gonna make a big difference but I wanted to put one side on a piano hinge so I could bring it up and you know face it towards the Sun uh, especially during the different times of the year but there's probably gonna be a large chance I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of camping in the winter time so I won't really need to do a whole lot of that um, I'm, I'm sure either if I keep it flat, the uh, amount of sunlight in the wintertime is going to go down, so it's not going to be charging as much as it would be in the summer, but that's not a big deal. Anyways, I'm going to put that solar panel up top, and then I'm going to run my wires through the back, I don't know if you can see that, through the back of the um, vent, and then down. I have a little space where I can tack them wires on, and it's going to go to the right side. So let's go over to the right side. So it'll, the, those wires will run inside down the wall and down into this vicinity of the trailer, which I will make a, uh, a full sheet that's going to have my inverter on it, the, the charge controller, a uh, fuse block, a circuit breaker, and possibly like a little USB port and that kind of stuff. I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to do today to get the battery power into the trailer. Alright guys, so... I'm over on the side where the battery box is at. Um, I don't have a battery in here yet because I haven't um, decided which battery I want to purchase for this setup, but I think I've got a pretty good idea. But how I mounted this battery box was the um, where the cables are going to run towards the trailer. And I got enough space just for that. Now, as you can tell here, there's these little extrusions here where they kind of pull out, where you can put your cables from your positive or negative side, either on the sides or on the front. And this side faces the trailer, so I can hide my cabling. Originally, I had built this, so this would face out here, but then I was like, whoa, the, the cable's going to have to run each way, and it's not going to look very good in the end. So I definitely moved it and turned it around, and my cable inserts will be concealed on the inside of the box and the outside of the trailer. Originally, I had also planned on drilling a hole straight through the trailer and then just running a, a you know, battery cable through the the wall and then I thought that's not gonna look very good you're gonna have a bulge this way and a bulge on the inside and it's just gonna be same, you know hanging there so I did some research and I found exactly what I was looking for or somewhere similar to what I was looking for are these bulkhead connectors these are made for you know firewalls of vehicles or, or boats or whatever and I really wanted a single single two terminal uh, connector but nobody locally had it and I could find them on Amazon but they were like 30 bucks with 20 20 dollars shipping because they weren't prime uh, and these cost me $12 a piece I've got a positive and a negative one so a red and, and a black one and what I'm gonna be doing is which I've already got it marked out here because the the way it is I'm gonna be drilling a hole from the frame four inches up it's going to be in, an inch and a quarter I'm gonna put this through to there silicone it and tighten it down this will allow me to take my battery and run my power from the outside through the inside and have an insulator between the inside and the outside that will be airtight and watertight. Uh, otherwise, I would have just had a, a cable there that was dangling either on the outside or the inside and I'd take the battery box off and there would be a cable here or to have to undo it on the inside and there would be a cable there. And I didn't want that. I didn't want anything free willy in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up, get the camera moved. And I'm going to drill these holes. They are from the frame four inches above the frame because I have a two inch um, piece of trim on the bottom. So this will be actually, the trim will be right on the bottom on the inside. Doesn't look like it from here, but it will be. All right, better make sure my stuff's all lined up where I need it. That's four and four. I know this is right where I need it in between. So inch and five eighths, inch and five eighths. Um, so the problem here is my, my plywood is actually half inch plywood and it has about a, a, a 16th or so worth of fiberglass on it. And these 
are only 7 sixteenths um, connectors. So they'll only go through 7 sixteenths. So they won't quite reach through. So I'm gonna have to actually bore the other side off just a little bit. But what I'm gonna have to do also, because these hole saw bits, I only have an inch and a, inch and a quarter in this and not a Forstner bit. So I'm gonna have to be very careful. I'm gonna start it with a pre-drill, drill it through, drill halfway with this and halfway with the other because I don't want a nasty look on the other side or this side. But at least on the outside I have about a 3 16 leeway for nastiness. And y'all don't know how much it pains me to do this. and we'll get it drilled through. How's that for a little plug? It's not a bad little plug right there. All right, so I have no idea which way the battery is gonna be yet. I can always turn the battery around in there, but these will go in just fine. Nice and tight. inside and tighten these things down. All right, so here's the inside, and I'm echoing quite a bit, but I actually have just a pinch worth of uh, thread on this. And so what I'm gonna do is just simply try to get it started. I don't know if I can. It's gonna pull tight. It's gonna have to. I'm gonna have to tighten it down and get these little, these little threads on there. How you bite down into it. They're gonna have to bit, be bit down pretty good. Threads with this one. I wonder if we turn it around. Turn it around. There we go. We can pull that through and get it tightened up the way it needs to be. Doesn't look greatest yet, but I still have to caulk these on the other side, and I'll have the positive there and a the negative there. My bad arm, my board's going to be above here so I'll just hit my cords or my cables plug them in there 
and I'll get some caps to put on these and the nuts so it's not going to be effective or affected otherwise. All right, so we're back outside looking at the terminals from the outside. They look pretty good from the outside, and I have plenty of room to get the cables connected. And they're pretty much, I mean, other than top view, they're, they're concealed all the way around. Looks pretty good, and uh, they'll work really, really well going through the, uh, the wall of this trailer. So anyways, the next portion of my to-do list here is actually to get the front repainted, which I'm not to get done today, but it's really, really sunny, and I got minimal shade. I've got one tree in my yard. Um, so I'm not to do it with the sun. I'm not too worried about it. But um, I'm not going to do a complete video on that. Probably just an update video as to, to what's going on with that and why I did that. But, uh, of course, that's probably been explained in the other little snippets that I've done on this video or on this uh, trailer. So anyways, keep comment carrying on, guys. Stay safe. See you later.